Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of making Flappy Bird. Uh, last video we had a bit of an issue with how we were making our game end. Uh, we would die when we went through the gap. But I don't know what the issue is. So, let's try and fix that. So we go, uh, wall x. So we go wall x while that is less than, uh, 75 plus 25 equals 100. Let's make that equals. So while wall x is less than or equal to 100 and, uh, what happened there? And wall x plus wall width, yeah, plus wall width is greater than or equal to 100. I believe that's right. And now we do the same for the y, but the y is going to be more complicated. So instead of uh, doing the gap, we have to draw the uh, the sides, the wall in this case. So if, let me just copy this. The floppy height plus V is less than or equal to zero and floppy height plus flappy V is greater than or equal to gap or uh, what happened there? Or Probably height plus flappy V plus twenty five is less than or less than or equal to the gap plus a hundred and and floppy height plus floppy V plus twenty five is That should be greater than actually. This should be switched over. So while this is greater than or equal to zero, and while this is less than the gap, and while this is greater than the greater or equal to the gap plus a hundred plus uh is less than or equal to the height of the screen. Then game over equals true. And now if we try to run it, we should die if we hit a wall. Yep, now we get a black screen. Now we're just going to make sure that we die on the other side. So down here. Yep, and one more time I just want to die inside the gap by touching it. Oh, I just went through it. One more time. Yep, okay, cool. So I died. Hmm, so what to do now? Well, when we go through our wall, in, in, in this case, we can see that it doesn't, there's no other wall that comes here. So let's try and fix that. So we're going to have a new method called uh, Uh, logic, so private void logic, and I don't know why it's doing that. And um, we say if actually, I think now would be a good time to have uh, these two arrays. Now you can either have these as the uh, You can combine these if you want, but I'm just going to have them uh, separate. So, I'm going to say that this is width plus 10. Actually, we'll just keep it at width. So, width and the other one's going to be a width. What happened? Uh, we're going to say width uh, times one and a half. 
So it's halfway. And we end up with a semicolon. Uh, apparently there's something wrong here. Can't. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So we're just going to say plus width divided by 2. And for this, we're going to say, we're just going to pretty much do the same thing. We're just going to copy it, really. So we're just going to do this. And we're sort of noticing that uh, the gap goes a little bit lower. So we're just going to do it like this. And now we just got to uh, add a for loop here. That should not be an issue. So we'll say, actually, let's add this here to um, logic. And we will say if we'll add the uh, for loop now, actually. So if the uh, not if uh, for loop. So int i is equal to zero, and while i is less than two, i plus plus i plus plus. So let's go ahead and do that. Private, so for int that 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 yep, and then we add this, same thing with this, maybe not. Um, what is it gap x? Let's just call it gap. And hopefully we do the same here. Now we gotta add all of these four loops in here. So int i is equal to zero. Well i is less than two i plus plus. And we just add i in here. And we add i in there. And we add i here. So we got that. And we don't need this. This is a g dot draw line. So we got that. And I believe that will probably be the only for loops we have to add. Uh, except for maybe this one. So we'll go uh, 0 and wall x of 1 minus equals wall x velocity. So cool. So this one dies if the uh, flappy bear goes through. And we want to have the walls so we're going to say if I'm going to say if wall x plus wall width is less than or equal to zero, I'm going to say if uh, i is equal to zero, actually would that work that, like that? Maybe, I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. So if i is equal to zero, we'll say, let's copy this, we'll just say, yeah, okay. Say wall x of i, well, I guess zero is equal to, uh, 
I'm just having a brain fart there, uh, is equal to width. Else, else, wall x of 1 is equal to width plus width divided by 2. And we've got to set this in somewhere, so let's let's put it here. Logic, like so. Now let's go and run it. So now if we survive, as we can see, there is now a bit of a gap hit, and oh my god, what just happened? Okay. Um, maybe it is just width. I'm just going to keep it like that and see what happens. Oh, that was tough. Huh. I didn't think that would work like that. I sort of thought about it. I didn't think it would work like that. That's interesting. Anyway. So now we can actually just get rid of this. We can just say wall of x of i is equal to width. So now if we go through, the same thing should happen, but now the code will be a little less messy. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. And another thing that we should do is that when it goes through, we should have a gap i i equal to uh, whatever we set it up here. Let's just delete this. To whatever we had here. Add a semicolon. And when we go and run this, now that after... Uh, Still a little bit too low. Oh, I don't think I'll make that. No. Okay, so I'm just going to make uh, floppy a equals to negative 10, I guess. Let's see if that changes anything. That's a little too high. Just a little optimization. But I believed that it changed. Yeah, I like this. It makes it more difficult. Maybe that's a little too much, though. So, how are we doing for time? We're doing alright. So, I think that would do it for uh, this uh, this video. For part 5, we're just going to finalize everything. So, like, the uh, bird can't go, like, under uh, the screen. Or, like, we add a score as well when the character dies. But this would be the end of the video. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.